Young buck. Still snorting up there. Scared him out from right here. Of course, as soon as I get the camera out, he starts snorting and taking off. Well, I've been hiking all day for them chanterelles. Check out this beautiful view, guys. He's still up there letting me know he's up there. He's saying, don't come over here. Welcome back, y'all. Fresh episode of Outdoors with T. Tommy here. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Got my buddy Mark. We're out here doing a little foraging. And we've ran across a couple cool finds before we got to here. But I can't hardly hold my excitement, you guys. I have not checked one yet. I have to do my research. I've been hunting and hunting, you guys, and I know some of you hop right out into your backyard and find these guys. I've never had one before. There's three of them right there. It's the golden chanterelle is what I'm thinking, you guys. Or the yellow chanterelle, I think it's called. There's a nice one right there, though. <clears throat> more up in here there's a few right around here just need to watch my feet but yeah that's my first patch of them looks like we got one two three there and over here got one right there and a couple right there <clears throat> a three piece guys or maybe it's two I think it's still here Here we go. Got a cloth bag tied off to my bandana. It's a good way to keep your hands free. Drop them in. So. <clears throat> Just watch where you're leaning when you got that back there. I'm gonna lean on them. A really nice healthy one. Look at look right here guys. Pretty. Right above our chanterelle harvest. So then there's some little guys we're gonna leave behind for another day. Let's go over here to my my big find. I like to get close to the bottom. Yeah, that one just wanted to rip. So another trick I learned. <clears throat> find some more baby mushies up here <sighs> those are beautiful guys oh chanterelle first one I can't wait to try them but I'm gonna slice this off right here like so and then you take a look at the stem looky there see all those holes they are maggots in this guy even though it looks real pretty and nice so I'll probably leave that guy behind but I'll take everything today. Let's see if it's all holy in this one too. See, it's a little holy in this one too. I'm still gonna harvest everything and I'll clean them up better when I get home. All right, so I don't know. There's more through here, I know that. And I'm gonna do a good job of coming back and cleaning it up. There's one right underneath that log that we were just cutting on. And uh, probably gonna harvest him because I want something to try. We're just gonna keep hunting this valley here. Or this ravine, whatever you want to call it. Marks on the bottom of it. And I'm gonna hike on the hill right here. Try to be careful. All right, I see another one. Uh, it's not very big, but look under here. What's this? There's one. I accidentally knocked it out of the ground with that stick. There we go. 
Oh, look. Yes. Yes. All right, let's throw that in our bag. harvest season in a second, but I think I might just have to get that picture too. Sweet. Yes, that's a good one, guys. I'm just going to start pinching and pulling these, actually. And then this one doesn't want to come out like they have been. Here, bud. Look at those. Some more hiding down in there. Looky. There's one right above and down below. I'll take that one right there above. Yes. So pumped, you guys. Cannot believe it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and look up just a little bit further. By gosh, I'm gonna leave some little ones here. Now this hill is gonna be good for us in the future too. I'm so pumped. Look over here. There's some more little ones right there, but I, I see another good, real good looking one. I'm growing under that cobweb. Where is it? I'm so pumped, you guys. Watch your feet. Tommy. Look here. Also has a little hole in it. I'll do a good job of cleaning these up. Yes. That's a nice one, guys. Into the bag we go. Well, I'm going to end up taking some of these small ones. A little bit of dirt don't hurt. Alright. Just hunting and hunting with my eyeballs. I hid this little one up underneath here. I knew there was another one. Oh, look at that picture. Perfect chanterelle, you guys. Definitely, these ones are... Where there's one, there might be a ton, as the saying goes. And, yeah, I'm going to get a picture of that guy for a harvesting. But looky. All right, going in for it, guys. This one looks like a really, really nice one, too. A double. Yes. Those are great ones. Wow, you guys, they're just all over on this hill. <clears throat> Take one of the babies. That, that uh, ridgy cap is a defining feature. The fact that it's got the false ridgy gills up underneath there. There they are. It's not super thin and defined. They're just more bumpy from one to the other where gills are just like a bunch of paper on top of each other, kind of. Really thin pieces of flesh. I wanted to point out what I am doing here. and I'm not very good at ID in trees, so what I like to look for is leaf litter or acorns. I'm looking for oaks, so I'm glad to see these guys. <clears throat> and also, I was noticing before that, oak leaves every once in a while too so I've been chasing oaks and finally finally found something I've been looking for all right haven't even really moved and we found a patch of three babies here and the like all mushrooms the younger in my opinion the better better chance of no bugs being in there we'll leave that guy behind we'll take these two Look at that, guys. Babies. Buttes. 
buttes as I like to call them. And that guy's gonna grow up nice, I bet, by the time I come back. Yes. So yeah, still just scooting around this hill. I have not, Mark's still that far away from us. I have not made it from, I'm kind of trying to work my way back to him this whole time and I can't get off this hill, so. Which I don't know if that's a bad thing. <laughs> but, yeah, see, look. Here I'm just surveying my area and here's a nice medium-sized plump one that I had missed out on. Check that out. Let's just harvest it right now before I lose it. I keep seeing these guys and then losing them. Yeah, baby. There's an older one that we missed out on. Here's some more medium-sized ones that I'm going to pick right now. Look underneath that branch. Bro, they're all over. I got like seven of them right here I just found with my eyeball while recording. This is awesome. Fresh hunt. Fresh mushroom. Never messed with it before, so we're going to do a little more stuff about this before we go to eating it. But yeah, let's just start cutting them as we see them. That way I don't lose them. Drop them in the bag. All right, underneath the branch. We're going for it. Spider webs and all. I'm so pumped, you guys. I have been looking, and you guys know I've been looking and looking for this mushroom. Finally. Chanterelles, y'all. Yes. That's, uh, I know I've seen another one. I can't move too much. Because now I don't know where it's at. Oh, yeah, up the hill, up the hill. Okay, here, look, guys. Probably missing some on the way, too. I'm going to probably leave that little one, but I'm going to take this one, this medium-sized one. Yeah, and the gills don't go up the stipe either, or the, the false gills, the ridges, if you want to call them, whatever. They stop. That's something different than like a golden oyster. A look alike you might run into that's not good is the jack o' lantern. When they're really young, they can look similar to that right there. And uh, when they get bigger, though, I think they're pretty easy to distinguish. I think jack o' lanterns grow from wood where these grow out of the ground. And uh, uh, they glow in the dark, the jack-o'-lantern, hence the name. Here's a bunch of little ones growing up the hill that I'm just gonna leave. <clears throat> just babies, you guys. Look at them guys. Awesome. We're not messing around today, this is awesome. I've never even found these mushrooms before, guys. And now I just can't stop finding them. Those are good healthy ones there. No holes. Yeah, baby. Get in your new home. Well, I ain't going to be there for long. She's going to my belly. Look. There's one hiding underneath there. Little baby. Little behind. I'll show you. With... Look at that. It's as big as the tip of my finger, guys. Little baby chanterelle. What's this? Some kind of neat rock tricked me, but look, right beside it. <clears throat> Where is it? Kind of dirty, but that's why. Fresh hunt, just slowly walking around this hill, you guys. And I'm actually getting a little bit of weight in my bag. That's my biggest patch of them so far, guys. Oh, and there's now I'm seeing a bunch more back in here, too. Once you see one, take your time, guys. They are around. All right, 
just got a confirmation, you guys. These are, in fact, chanterelles. I got some of my cleanest, smallest ones that aren't buggy. Got some hot butter here. Just rinse them with a little bit of water and use the toothbrush. Clean off that dirt a little bit. Just butter. Nothing else, guys. My first taste test. I'm pretty pumped. So, I uh, got a confirmation on my foraging page. And I've also done plenty of research here. Mushrooms of the Upper Midwest. The Yellow Chanterelle. That's what we got, guys. So I recommend you do some confirming for yourself with literature of your own. Always check with other people that have tried said mushroom before. Before you just dive in this blindly. Like I mentioned, there is a lookalike. The uh, jack o' lantern. So, I'm gonna have my heat on really. Turn that up just a little bit. Mmm, I tell you right now, they're starting to smell good. But yeah, I won't eat any more of these until tomorrow evening or the next day since this is the first time I've ever tried them before. That's why there's not very much in here. I don't want to eat a lot. Yeah. Just going for it. I'm getting a, a good bite of these. All right, here we go. First taste test. Yellow chanterelle. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Man, that is a meaty mushroom. Oh my gosh. I've been missing out. That's on the top. Top of the list. Choice edibles for sure. I can see what the hype's all about, guys. Oh, that's delicious. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe for more. I hope there's going to be a lot of more of these in the future. I love y'all. Happy hunting. Appreciate you. Catch you on the next one. Tommy, signing out.